Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we are jumping into Horizon promo for Forza Horizon 5. I'll be showing you the quickest method to photograph all cars in game, whether they're rare, exclusive, or included in the car pass. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. A like rating would be much appreciated. Let's jump into Horizon promo. Now Horizon Promo hasn't always been a feature in the Forza Horizon franchise. It was first introduced into Forza Horizon 3, was dropped for the release of Forza Horizon 4, but was brought back in the later stages of that game, but is back for the release of Forza Horizon 5. Now Horizon Promo isn't a feature you get given at the beginning of the game, you do need to go and unlock it. To do that, you need to unlock or buy the player house Lugar Tranquilo. This house will set you back 700,000 credits. And I know what you might be thinking, what is the point of completing Horizon Promo? If we head into the accolades section of the pause menu, head on over to creative, hit RB over to photo, and there are a bunch of accolades and prizes to grab for completing Horizon Promo. Now the main prize for completing Horizon Promo or photographing 200 different vehicles is the Porsche 11 GT2 RS. There's also a bunch of wheel spins, super wheel spins, Forza Link chat phrases and car horns to be collected as well. Also, some of the challenges within Horizon Promo are pretty easy. Photograph a 1997 Lamborghini Diablo SV worth 250 accolades. There are actually over 5,000 accolades to be collected within Horizon Promo. Now, there is a way to check which cars you've already photographed and which ones you haven't. If you head into the pause menu, head on over to the cars tab and down in the bottom right hand corner is Horizon Promo. Now there are a couple of ways to figure out which cars you have captured and which ones you haven't. If we take a look on the left hand side of the screen, it's got progress. I photographed 197 of 200 cars. My next reward is 50 accolade points and I've captured none of three Acura cars. Now I'm going to use the Alpine A110 2017 as an example. So in the bottom left, it says captured and it also says Alpine's captured one of 10. And on the picture of the Alpine A110, we've got a house symbol and a little camera symbol. This means I have captured this car. But one of the best ways to figure out which cars you have and haven't captured, press Y to filter, uncheck the boxes, and just check the box that says not captured. By doing this, this will show you every single car you haven't captured. We've even got the flatbed truck 2020 in there as well. This will even show you the cars you own and don't own as well. Something pretty cool about the Horizon promo screen, if you filter by everything owned, not owned, captured and not captured, this is going to show you every single car in game, such as this five window deluxe coupe, Forza Edition that is only available if you purchase the Forza Horizon 5 controller. You can even see cars from the Horizon stories, such as this monster truck bone shaker, so it's well worth whipping out the camera and grabbing a photo. Now you can complete Horizon Promo from free roam and the quickest way to do that is in Horizon Promo as it spawns driver tires and the driver tires are just freely driving around. As you can see the Subaru has a little camera icon above it, that means I haven't captured that Subaru in Horizon Promo, but of course the quickest way to do it is during races. And when I say during races, I mean during drag races as all the cars line up on the start line and it's a little bit easier to take photos. Once you're at your chosen drag strip, there are a couple of methods to get this one. Method one is just do the normal drag strip race and then work your way through each car type. By working your way through the car types in game, you'll force the driver tires to always be in a different car, making it easier to work your way through each car in game. Now for my example of this method, we're going to be using modern sports cars. You can even go as far as forcing it to give you different classes. If we force it to go class B, we'll get cars as the A110 and the 370Z. If we switch it up to class A, we'll get different cars such as the Audi TT RS and the Z4 Roadster. By switching up the class, you force the game to give you different cars. Before this example, we're going to go ahead and leave the class alone. We're just going to jump into a Lotus Elise Exige. Now, once we get the go ahead for the drag race to start, just as that, we're going to hit up on the D pad to enter photo mode. Swing the camera to the left. Make sure you get all cars in shot. We're going to tap RB for promo quick shot, and all the cars in shot that you haven't already had are going to show up in a little list. There is no limit on how many cars you can photo, so you can photo the whole pack if you don't have them all. 
Now for me, using this method, I've just grabbed five more cars towards a Horizon promo. If you wanna go ahead and complete the race, earn some credits, accolades, and some XP along the way, you can, or you can just quit and move on to the next car type. Now, method number two is how to get the rare and exclusive cars and even the cars from Car Pass using Event Lab. So what you wanna do is jump in to create a blueprint and on this screen for car themes, head all the way over to the right for custom. Now from this screen, you can custom pick which cars you do and don't want to be in the race. For this method, as an example, I'm gonna use the Subaru STI S209. As it is a car pass car and not everybody has the car pass. So once you have the Subaru selected, it's then going to be in the race. Now what you want to do is select another car that you are more than likely going to own. We're going to take the 2015 WRX STI. The reason we do this is because if you don't have the car pass, you can't jump in the S209. Just make sure the two cars you are selecting are similar, such as these two. They're Modern Rally. They're both in Class B. Once you have your custom blueprint, go ahead and jump in the car that you do own. And before we start the race, if we jump over to the starting grid, you can see that I'm in a Subaru WRX 2015 and a couple of the AI have jumped into the Subaru STI S209. And just like the first method, jump into the race, hit up on the D-pad, swing the camera around to the left or to the right, make sure you get all the cars in view, hit RB, and you will grab a photo of your car pass car, whether you own the car pass or you don't. Now, I've already taken a photo of the S209, so it's not going to show up here, but that is how you grab photos of cars that you might not own in game. But there we go, a quick and easy method for completing Horizon Promo using drag strips and Event Lab. If you've got any questions about Horizon Promo, do hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new, definitely consider subscribing. A like rating would be much appreciated. Stay safe and have an awesome day.